This is the McKinstry Innovation Campus. It's between East Spokane Falls Boulevard and the river. If you ever wondered what's happening here, some pretty amazing stuff. Some of the most cutting edge companies in Spokane are working together to do business differently. And just like the drone workshop that these educators are a part of, everything that happens here begins with a meeting of the minds. What's happening in this classroom is a little over my head. So the axis that you're measuring is actually changing. The Liberty Lake company Mind's Eye Robotics built these drone kits. And during this two day workshop, 17 local educators were tasked with not only putting them together, but programming them as well. These uh, units are recapturable. So once they've been completely put together, you can also then disassemble them back to the parts and the next group can start all over again. Tim Buchanan is here on behalf of Mobius Science Center. And that's what makes it such a tremendously good investment for the schools that are going to be getting their own kits, but also for places like Mobius to have them because they can be used again and again. None of the 17 educators here paid a dime for this workshop. So who's footing the bill? We recognize the importance of uh, STEM education. They're our next generation uh, employees. Andy Barrett's office at The Toolbox looks more like something you'd see in Silicon Valley, like many of the other startups on this campus. What really makes it successful is the collaboration. You see a lot of these different new startups working together to successfully launch their companies. The Toolbox is paying for the drone kits with help from Berg Manufacturing. The educators in the workshop get to bring them back to the communities and classrooms they serve. So if we can get 17 instructors in here uh, and, and send them home with the ability to teach how to build a drone, those 17, if they touch another 30 students, that's 500 students that are touching this. It's a very good investment for the toolbox. It's an investment that everyone involved is specifically making in kids that wouldn't otherwise have the chance. So many of the underserved kids in particular have, the, have a barrier to technology because they don't have access to it in their, in their daily lives. And so having these kids come back, having the teachers come back and train them and show them, um, it goes from being a toy to technology when learning and understanding occurs. Now this workshop filled up fast, but the folks that put it together want to know if there's enough community support to do another one. If you think an educator that you know would be interested, go to KXLY.com for all the details. Reporting in East Spokane, Casey Lund, KXLY 4 News.